Welcome to Detroit Become Human, guys. Alright, let's go talk to him, man. I just walk right over the ice. Yes, yes, second. Interesting. Come on, Connor, keep moving. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Did Kemsky design this place? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? What happens if I say no? I don't know what you're talking about. That's what she said, yes. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. <laughs> I don't trust her. You. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. We just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. It's not over. Not even close. We're gonna solve this dang case. Alright, come on, Connor, let's go talk to Hank. He's the man with the plan. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic, 
that determined my decisions. Nothing more. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, <laughs> that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Come on, let's go. Key to the basement is on my desk. Sweet. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Let's do it. I'll take the key. Come on, take the stupid key. Thank you. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> I wanted to do that, but that would still. I wanted to hit him. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Just the asshole, I'm talking to you. Eat a giant bag of wings, man. I got this. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? That's easy. Fucking password. <laughs> Obviously. <coughs> Seven five five. Oops. Okay. One more that's it. <laughs> I think. Okay, we need for you. Four seven one seven. I got all that's it too. So, well, <clears throat> well, that's nice. There's a 67W. Bang, come on. Nice. <clears throat> stop a disaster but you have to tell me where Jericho is I remember you we could have escaped been free but you killed us disconnect me I'd rather be dead than live without her Down here. The android that murdered its owner. <coughs> Dang it. Must be this one, then. One of the deviants that hacked the 
the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Oh, yes, you will. I don't know how you're going to do it, too. Move, Connor. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's going to be definitive. Yes. Now! 
Nice. Alright, move on. is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. To. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed yeah, forces right. have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Yeah, possible we can speed this up. Well, that's pretty quick, actually. Further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Okay. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Connie. How will this play out? Just watch it down this way. And this would be my guess is keep walking straight. Yeah. 
How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? There's Connor. Marcus here. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. Yeah, One of our be. people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bad Hey, it's Connie. No, no, no. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids. Oh, Connie. They rushed the police in there. They slaughtered them. to survive in the end what difference does it make do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us well that's a heck of a plot maybe twist maybe that's what it means to be alive forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be she loves you she loves you more than anything in the world she became the one you wanted her to be out of love for you. Is 
we'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. Interesting. I had no clue she was a freaking android. Well, that changes things a little bit. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone, try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. Hope not. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. The violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Uh, no. No, refuse, refuse, refuse. No. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Oh, that's nice. We're gonna die for this game's over. I'm waiting for Connor to run in. I'll go join the others.
Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Definitely interesting. Locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now yeah. deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Come on, Connie. I've been ordered to take you alive. I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Okay. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Mm. You're coming with me. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Our cause is righteous, and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. As I say nothing. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being. Capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. So I can keep both of them alive. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. <laughs> what will we pick here? Ranching sides. Crap. Hope I don't kill him. Okay. So you want to shoot him? No. Betrayed Amanda. They're going to attack Jericho. What? Things are really gonna happen now. We're a heck of a lot smarter. Ooh, that was close. Just keep going, just keep going. Run, 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 run. Not that way, not that way, but that way. Don't hurry this way! Keep going. Ooh. Don't go that way. Uh, 
Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Okay. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have oh, Jericho. to go, Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Yeah, I'll be everywhere. fine. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. Connor's on the other way. Beginning of a new Jericho. Let's we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully, I made all the right decisions. I wanted the good ending first. Please don't kill us. Come on. Come on. Don't hurt us. We haven't done anything wrong. Intervene. Save their butts. Nice. Marcus, you saved us. Go now. Hurry. I saved one group. I'll join you later. Over there. Oh, we're safe, Alice. <laughs> no, we're not. 
Yeah, figured. Get down! Don't move. See if this works. Please don't kill me. I... Come on, let's get out of here. Nice, we didn't die. Everyone might live. Quick, we've got to go. Well, they made it. Second, we gotta get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I got everyone alive. Oh, crap. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Bull. Save. So far, it looks like everybody made it. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Is it over, Marcus? That's fine. Interesting. A lot of stuff I missed, I see. Well, that's where I'm going to start for today anyways, guys. I'll catch you later. Have a good one.